All right, folks, gather around. Today, we're stepping into the world of web scraping and document extraction, and we're doing it Tarantino style. I'm Samuel L. Jackson, and I'll be your guide on this wild ride through the digital landscape. Now, we ain't just stopping at scraping and extraction. This is just the beginning, the opening scene of a blockbuster series. We're laying the foundation, setting the stage for some real tech magic. In the upcoming episodes, we're going to manipulate this data, make it spill its secrets through SQL querying and semantic search, all by just having a chat with it. And oh, we're not done there. We'll be fine tuning models to sound more like me, adding that Samuel L. Jackson flair to the mix. We're crafting a masterpiece, building an end-to-end -end solution that's going to blow your minds. So sit tight, enjoy the ride, and get ready for a series filled with data adventures and tech wonders. And hey, if you're feeling the vibe, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment. Join the Prompt Hub community, and let's make this journey unforgettable. All right, let's break this down. Top to bottom, uncovering the mysteries of this script like we're deciphering ancient hieroglyphs or cracking a safe filled with treasures. We're here to save some serious cash, people, and remember to insert your own API key at the top or else you'll be shooting blanks. First off, we're importing a squad of library. We've got requests for making HTTP requests, like knocking on the doors of websites. Beautiful Soup is our master lock picker getting us through the gates of HTML and XML. Pandas is the getaway driver handling our data frames, and PDF Plumber is the explosives expert blowing up PDFs to extract the text. Now let's get our hands dirty with the process underscore PDF function. This function is our inside man dealing with each PDF, extracting text, and handling any hiccups. We're destructuring the row into name, year, and PDF underscore link, like splitting the loot amongst the crew. We're initializing data frames to store text and errors. It's like having a bag for the diamonds and a bag for any unexpected goodies. We're setting up request headers. It's our disguise, so the websites don't kick us out. And we're sleeping for five seconds. It's like waiting for the guards to pass during a heist. A get request is sent to download the PDF. If successful, we convert the content to a PDF file like turning the blueprint into a 3D model. We then open the PDF and extract text from each page, appending it to the data frame. If any errors occur, we log it like leaving a mark for our fellow thieves. Now let's talk about the cost savings. Imagine you've got 2 billion pages of text. Using a service could cost you from 20 million to a billion dollars. With this script, we're bypassing the system like stealing the crown jewels under everyone's noses. Moving on, we've got the clean underscore text function, our cleaner, making sure our loot is untraceable, removing any unwanted characters and spaces. Then comes the main function. It's the mastermind orchestrating the entire operation, defining the URL, sending requests, and checking responses. Inside the main function, we're parsing the page with beautiful soup. It's like reading the map to the treasure. We find all script links on the page using the class WFull. How do we know this class? by inspecting the element on the web page. Right click, select inspect, and you're in. Seeing the hidden secrets, we're extracting the name, year, and PDF link for each script. It's like gathering intel for the heist. We're using multiprocessing to process PDFs in parallel. Think of it as having multiple crews hitting different locations at the same time. We concatenate the results into single data frames, clean the extracted text, and return the resulting data frames. If anything goes south, we print an error message and return empty data frames. Always have an escape plan, folks. Finally, we check if the script is run directly, call the main function, store the results, and print them out like showcasing our haul. And don't forget, we're saving the results to a CSV file. It's like stashing the loot in a safe house. Now don't be a square. Smash that subscribe button like it's a pesky fly. Hit the like button like it's the last burger at Big Kahuna Burger, and drop a comment about your favorite heist movie. Every interaction is a golden nugget in our treasure chest. Remember, we're not just running code, we're learning the why, the how, exploring web scraping, and unlocking the potential of data. So keep your wits about you and let's continue unraveling the wonders of the digital world together with Prompt Hub. All right, you cool cats and kittens, we've traversed the digital jungle and uncovered some real gems today. We've delved into the nitty gritty of web scraping, extracted precious data from PDFs, and set the stage for some serious tech wizardry. We're like the Avengers of data extraction, each line of code a superhero in its own right. Now let's take a sneak peek at the treasure we've uncovered. Each record in our hall represents an individual page packed with rich text and adorned with key metadata, like the unique signature on a priceless artifact. It's a gold mine of information, 
meticulously organized and ready for exploration, each line of text a clue, leading us to uncover deeper insights and hidden patterns. But here's the real kicker. Having this data is like holding the key to a treasure trove of possibilities. The journey of extracting and organizing might have been arduous, but oh, the rewards are sweet. With this structured and accessible data in our hands, the doors to a myriad of search and analytics tools are wide open. Now, don't think for a second that this is where the road ends. Oh no, we are revving up the engines and there's a whole lot of uncharted territory ahead. In the upcoming episodes, we'll manipulate this treasure trove of data, make it dance to our tunes with SQL and semantic search, and have it spill the beans in the most natural conversations you've ever had with data. And let's not forget, we'll be adding a dash of Samuel L. Jackson magic, fine tuning models to sprinkle that extra flavor, making them sound as cool as a Royale with cheese. We're on a mission, folks, crafting a masterpiece, an end-to-end -end solution that's going to be the talk of the town. Now, if you're feeling the rush, if you're vibing with the energy, don't just stand there. Hit that subscribe button like it owes you money. Smash the like like you're breaking free and drop a comment with your favorite Tarantino line. Every interaction, every click is fuel to our fire, making this journey all the more epic. We've explored the hows, uncovered the whys, and unlocked the secrets of web scraping today. But this is just the tip of the iceberg, just the first step into the realm of endless possibilities. So stay sharp, keep those eyes peeled, and let's dive deeper into the digital wonders and unravel the mysteries of technology together on Prompt Hub. Keep the curiosity alive, and let's see where this adventure takes us next.